Okay, so I'm just recording this video sort of off the cuff. It's probably not going to have a lot of editing. It's just to announce that I've finished updating the Nine Circles list. Now, for those of you who don't know, I made a list that documents every single Nine Circles level in chronological order of their release. And it was a big project, and it was something I was very proud of, and still am proud of. The only issue is the old version of the site was kind of bad. It had optimization in the layout issues, and I received a bit of fair, invalid criticism. Uh, the website used an absurdly large amount of RAM, and most people would have their browser crash upon loading the site. So I'm happy to announce that that is the main focus of this update. All of the embeds have been replaced with images of the level in which you can click on them to see the showcase. This seems like a small change, but it helps a lot as I'm on the site right now and I'm only using uh, under 700 megabytes of RAM, so that's not bad at all. It's And keep in mind, this is on Chrome, so like, you know. The layout and optimization isn't the only thing I have updated, however, as I've also added a badge system. As you can see down here, uh, each level will have badges, and the badges are listed as follows. So these four tell you the difficulty of the level. There's Star Rate, Demon, Extreme Demon, and then a special badge for the top one. Uh, there is a badge saying the level has either silver or bronze coins, there's a badge telling you the level is a Nong, a badge for updates, and then the most complicated but the most important ones I feel are there is a badge for high quality levels, this indicates that a level is, like, excelling in quality. It isn't just simply saying that I like the level, because there are levels on here that I like that don't have the badge, these have to be, like, really, really good for their time. Conversely, we also have the low quality badge, which is the same thing, but replace the word good with bad. Uh, these are levels that have, like, awful issues, they're just bad, and, like, not a lot of people would disagree that they're bad. And then finally, we have this badge, which basically just says that the level isn't actually technically a circles level. There's a little bit of nuance to it. You could debate whether or not it's a circles level. Uh, this is for levels like Aerial Gleam, which hopefully, yes, I can spell it. Cool. Uh, Aerial Gleam is a good example of this badge because this level, I don't think a lot of people would disagree that it's a circles level, but the reason it has the badge is because this level actually doesn't technically have a circles effect, so, you know. And this is probably the closest a circles level can get to being that while having this badge. There are quite a few levels that don't even have a circles effect at all, but are still considered circles levels, like Cat Planet is a good example of that. Okay, so aside of the badges, what else have I added? So, obviously there's 1.9, 2.0, and 2.1 levels. Ooh, that's something I should probably say. So, the showcases are no longer all just showcases that were randomly found on YouTube. This time around, I have created all of the showcases. And they're of really good quality. Some of them might be kind of old, and so the quality might be not great on, like, the 1.9 one specifically, but almost all of them are perfect quality, and, I mean, with the 1.9 ones, it doesn't really need to be in 4K anyway. Uh, point is, I made all the showcases, all the showcases are good, and I will pull up my showcase of Ring Trick just to demonstrate that. So yeah, my showcases are pretty good. Uh, so that's another big change. Uh, there's also the bonus levels, which uh, has been updated quite a bit. There's quite a few of these now. Uh, I have the unrated Ultra Circles levels. There's a couple joke levels, a couple genuinely good levels, and the ones I find the most interesting are stuff like Beautiful Eyes and Fairy Dust V2, which used to be rated and have some interesting history behind them, but, you know. There's also stuff like, uh, like Nurkles, which, if you haven't seen it, it's a really good level. I highly recommend checking it out, but yeah. As for the newest part of the site, and the thing I am the most excited to announce, I have added a upcoming levels tab. This will document nine circles levels that are on the cusp of being either finished or verified but aren't out yet. Some of these are actually older, while others are newer. So we have stuff like Centipede, Pandal Vortex, Deep Base, Down Base Incarnation, Silent Zinevire Silent Circles. 
and we just have all of these upcoming circles levels and of course, since a lot of these are unfinished and unreleased, I can't really showcase these, so they either link to the most recent deco preview or the most recent verification progress, depending on the level. Like, Deep Base is the most recent preview, whereas Silent Circle Zynvire is uh, Cursed's 48%. I got an ad on this for Five Nights at Freddy. The site is definitely in a much better state now. I'm much happier with it. And obviously I'll link it below in the description. You can check it out if you want. But yeah, I am happy with this and I hope you enjoy the website and I hope it's of use to some people. Thank you for watching.